The prices of consumer goods have been rising, which is making this year's Chuseok holiday, when people buy a lot of food, more expensive. Adding to that, the typhoon that just passed through Korea damaging crops. And after Chuseok, households will face higher utility bills, too. Jung Eun-ju has the details. Shin ramen is one of South Korea's best-selling instant noodles. One individual packet costs on average around 736 won, but that will soon rise to 821. Due to rising costs of wheat and starch, manufacturer Nongshim plans to raise wholesale prices for 26 of its products by 11.3 percent on average. The price hikes will take effect from September 15. The main problem is that prices of most other items are also expected to go up. The consumer price index was 108.62 last month, up 5.7 percent from a year earlier. Agricultural product prices rose by 8.5 percent as vegetable and fruit prices increased. Livestock product prices, mainly imported beef, pork and chicken, went up by 6.5 percent due to demand and cost increases. The cost of eating out has also gone up, with the increase rate currently at 8.8 percent, the highest in 30 years. McDonald's Korea will raise the prices of 68 menu items by an average of 4.8 percent starting from August 25th. No Brand Burger also raised the price of 40 menu items by 5.5 percent, and other burger franchises in South Korea such as Mom's Touch, Burger King, Lotteria and KFC are also raising their prices. As international energy prices such as LNG surge, electricity and gas will be more expensive too. They were raised in April and July in South Korea this year and will go up once again in October. Taxis, too, will be more expensive. The basic fare for mid-sized taxis in Seoul is expected to go up by 1,001 to 4,801. That's more than a 20 percent increase for the first time in three years. After Typhoon Hinamnor passes through South Korea, the cost of agricultural products is expected to rise further, putting more pressure on low-income households. Jong Eun-ju, Arirang News.